Yes, boys and girls, it does mean run across the room and grab your radio quick. Time again for Mary Morrill. Each week, Mary fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and morality, as defined by a select group of people who know what's best. Today's episode, Mary Bastion, a wholesome high school student who is secretly Mary Morrill, is walking down the suburban, semi-secluded street with her friend, Eddie. And we hear Mary blithely say, Eddie... Look at that house over there. There's something strange about it. Gee, Mary, looks like any other house in the block. But all the windows and curtains are closed. There's something going on in that house. Something decent people shouldn't be doing. Really? How can you tell? I have a feeling. I can't explain it. It's like... Paranoia? Watch it. <laughs> I'm going up there and find out exactly what's going on. Mary walks up the cobblestone path to the front door. Knock on door. Thank you. <clears throat> yes? Are you doing something in there that I don't approve of? Who cares? What I do in the privacy of my own home is none of your business. Of course it's none of my business. That's why I'm so interested. Now let me in. What gives you the right to barge in here? I'm a busybody. That's what. Let me in. No. What I do in my house is my business and nobody else's. All right. I tried just merely being rude, but now you've forced me to use sterner measures. Sensing a chance to assert her dominance, Mary Bastion utters the magic word that transforms her into Mary Morrill. Shabu! <laughs> Now are you going to let me in? <clears throat> that was a nice trick with a lightning flash and funny sound effects. Well, what I do in the privacy is still none of your business. All right, then. Take this. hi oh. <laughs> Mary! Mary! Golly gee, Mary, what happened in here? He was right. It was none of my business. Then why did you beat him up? Eddie, until there comes the time when decent men can make legislation against private acts, it will be up to us to randomly select and abuse those individuals whose lifestyles we don't like. Bye-bye, and bless you. Well, are these words to cringe by from Mary Morrill? Be with us next time for Mary Morrill, when we'll hear Mary say... What do you mean, unconstitutional? Show me one place where it guarantees freedom of privacy. We love you, Mary. We love you, Mary. Bye-bye. It's time for some sub-zero humor, boys and girls, for those with sub-zero IQs. Banned by the CBC, CTV, and the makers of Alpo, it's time to join Canada's favorite sweethearts, the dashing virile Sergeant York Preston of the RUMPs, that's Royal Unmounted Police, and the melancholy Miss Pamela Pettyways in another thrill-packed, heart-throbbing action-adventure episode of Yukon Patrol. When we last left York and Pamela, a fierce and raging blizzard had our two stars trapped in a dark cave with un... without, and with unknown to them, a 900-pound saber-tooth hamster who was in a bad mood. Let's listen. Oh, York, what are we going to do? If we go outside, we'll surely freeze to death in that fierce and raging blizzard. Fear not, you vision of deprived loveliness. Have you forgotten that I'm a rumpy? Yes, I've noticed you've put on a little weight. And will you quit breathing down the back of my neck? You're wilting my corset. Quick, give me a match. Ah! Sorry about that, York. I didn't mean to light your thumb on fire. Oh, oh York, look! It's a ferocious 900-pound saber-toothed hamster. It looks like your mother. Do something, York. I'm too young and incredibly beautiful to become Purina hamster chow. Look, Pamela, it has stopped snowing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 
after having narrowly escaped from the clutches of the killer hamster, York and Pamela make a startling discovery. Look, York, what's this stuff all over the ground? It's, it's not, not snow. No, it's not snow. It's that missing train load of blue cottage cheese stolen from the Yoon Brothers fungus farm up in Flin Flon, Alabama. <laughs> Well, will York and Pamela return unscathed from this curdling predicament? And if that 900-pound hamster ha was Pamela Pattyway's mother, why did it keep smacking its lips? And after having been subjected to this madness, will the Canadian embassy stampede a herd of moose through the studio? The answers and the anecdote to these and other boring questions send 25 Canadian dollars to Paula Preston, CBC, Toronto. The stars of Yukon Patrol fly Air Argentina after each performance to avoid prosecution. Pamela Pantyway's Swardrow by Max of Switzerland. This has been a Sweatmore bombshell production, patent pending. It's time for Sergeant York Preston of the Royal Unmounted Police, better known as Rumps, R-U-M-P-S. I'm kind of filling in this first part here. This is a big overture here. As our story opens today, Sergeant York Preston of the Royal and Mounted Police, better known as RUMPS, has just arrived in Klondike City. Aboard his dog sled, of course. After another harrowing patrol in the vast Yukon wilderness, when suddenly his faithful Indian guide, Little Bear, bursts out of the Silver Swallow Saloon. Oh, 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 Kimosabi, head for the hills. It's the Quebec kid, and he's shooting up the Silver Swallow Saloon. Well, this looks like a job for rump. On bullet, faithful husky, mush, on you mush, on you mushies, on you huskies, on. Shut up, you stupid dogs. It's enough. Cease and desist, Quebec kid, for it is I, Sergeant York Preston, or Preston if you live on the east side, of the Royal Unmounted Police, here to drag you off to jail and make the Yukon a swell place to live. You'll never take me alive, beaver face. One false move in you and this pure, bleached, blonde Pamela Panty Waste <laughs> will be blown to smithereens when I push this plunger down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, York, do something, you boob. Save me. I'm too gorgeous to get blown up. Besides, it's not good for my complexion. Notice how the music fits. Will York be able to save Pamela from the potentially explosive situation brought on by the diabolical arrogant and bad dialect Quebec kid? Will the Quebec kid be brought to justice or be placed on Cool News 10 with Bill Close and Mary Jo West and told to dress up as Joe Doherty or Cynthia Tepp? And will the Board of Health ever allow the Silver Swallow Saloon to reopen after what all those sled dogs did on the floor. For the answers to these questions and to the personal questions about Joe Adams, tune in next time when you'll hear something like... Jorik, why is there a dead fish on your head? Yes, all this and less with your favorite rump. R-U-M-P, Royal and Mounted Police Person, Sergeant York Preston on Yukon Patrol. <laughs> It's time for Love Talk on the Bill Haywood Terms of Endearment Theater for your love enjoyment. Oh, honey muffin. Baby cakes. Sugar burger. Boobadoo. Bunny ducky. Turtle dove. Tiger paws. Kitten. <laughs> Huggy Bear. Termite. Mississippi Swamp Rat. Love Bucket. Pooter. Bunny Buns. Blubber Blossom. Creepola. Dragon Fanny. Slobinski. Bubble Butt. El Moldo Face. Mob S Squeezer. Liver Lips. Poopsie. Yes, Snookums. 
Konkin. Nuggy. Bunzola. Snuggles. Sweetums. Yes, Snuggle Bunny. Who says the art of conversation is dead? Aw, oh, Honey Bear Puff. You've been listening to... The semi-literate, barely heard and often tuned out... Terms of Endearment Theater, 